<laughs> you know it's lit when you got big boy in the house. Yeah. Right, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Right. Hey, listen, man, straight up, want to get right into it. Welcome to the area, man. Appreciate we appreciate it, man. It, man. You, man. you know what it is, yeah. right? Already. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I want to get right into Boomerverse, man. Yeah. First off, how many albums is this for Ooh. you, big boy? Um, This is about... 13 or 14, maybe. Sheesh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's it's been a man. lot, you know, like four solos, seven and mm. eight Outcast albums. Man, super yeah, man. fan, man. Tell us about Boomerverse, man. Uh, Boomerverse is, you know, um, everything from Southern Playlist to Cadillac music mm. to today, you know what I mean? Right. So uh, still, you know, spitting rhymes oh. like it ain't nothing, uh, <laughs> high power production. Um, and just, it's, we call it the big boom, like the big bang theory, because right. every time we make an album, we want to be fresh and new, and we don't want to sound like nothing we ever done before, so <clears throat> bang it. How challenging is that, to always uh, come up with the original, uh, always organic content? Um, it's, 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 it's challenging, but it's, it's, it's gratifying when you find, you know, that sound or that, that, that rhyme or that hook mm. or, you know, that specific flow. Um, I mean, that's what keeps me motivated to making music. I mean, because I have fun doing it, man. So, and then you rock it and, it and you get out there and you go on tour and you see people singing it word for word. So, right. it's just a blessing. Man. So, I, I got one question for you. Well, you a music here, Rob. <laughs> How many notebooks you done went through? Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> just, just the off that's, the wall, that's, left field. Yeah, that, well, it's funny you say that because... Um, I'm, I'm still, I still write in the notebook, even though I see a lot of people on the, like, on the phone. Like, yeah. I got to ink my, my lyrics, you know what yeah. I mean? So yeah. it's been, man, over a hundred and something. I still got all Jeez. my original lyrics from Players Ball, Elevators, okay. Way You Move. Ooh. I got a you like, page by page. You got an encyclopedia over there, I huh? got it. I got it, man. So my kids, my kid, better not sell it either. We <laughs> <laughs> should put a museum together. Let everybody come through and see that, man. That would yeah. be, be something oh, dope, man. man. Come, come through Steak on here, man. I'm, I'm right down the street, man. Right, man. Right down the street. Steak on this street. I, I run into him every once in a while at Lifetime, and I ask <laughs> about staying in shape. Ooh. Yeah. Let them know how you stay in shape. Uh, we just do a lot of cardio, man. You know, um, lift, you know, uh, we ain't trying to get swole up, you know what I mean? Mm, so, right. you know, a lot of high, high reps, you know <laughs> right. what I mean? A lot of push ups, you know, we go in the, in the sauna for about 30 minutes, you know what I mean? Put the sauna suit on in the sweet sweat. Um, we keep our skin smooth and our back strong. Ooh, okay. <laughs> no, no, did that. No. Bro. Go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Right. Got you, man. Oh, man. Tell us about. T- tell us about uh, the song Order of Operations, man. This kind oh, of song we can okay. all relate to. Oh, right? absolutely, man. Order of Operations is is definitely a motivational record. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just, you know, it's about grinding and stacking, you right. know, and it's, it's just me just kind of just uh, spitting true life game on right. um, a couple of moves I made, you know what I mean? Like, you know, when I was younger, we got a publishing check and... You know, the first, first big thing, check, right? Yeah, first big check. Mm, right, right. I went and bought a Lexus. Mm. You know what I mean? My first car, Lexus. right? Yeah, I did, got did, you. GS 300. 300, right? Wanted, wanted it, you know what I mean? Right. And then after that, started getting checks. I started buying real estate. So mm. I started investing in the city, you know what I mean? Smart. So, um, um, you know, I got uh, bonds and things like that. Like we own parts of the airport and mm-hmm. the cab county mm-hmm. sewer and, and, and things like that. So you, you got know. real estate then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just let, bought a let real money. Move low key, man. I mean, they can't make no more land, you know? No, yeah. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, my, my wife actually is a real estate agent and we just bought a couple more properties down by the new okay. um, Georgia Dome, so we doing that. Oh, that's what's up, man. Yeah. yeah. Rod Strickland, yeah. what'd you buy with your first check? Man, I bought a Volvo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man! If I know you was gonna say, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm what? with that. Hey, oh, hey, oh, you man. kidding it out? You put some rim? What you doing with it? Now? Volvo. Volvo. Like, that was talk. like my dream car. Volvo. Oh, you Volvo. know what? Real talk. I used to think the Cherokees <laughs> with the wood on the side oh, used to be the big. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Volvo, back in the day. yeah, yeah, yeah. We couldn't afford them, so when we when we saw people in them, it was like, man, I want to get that Cherokee. Just want to get it, man. That became your dream car. Yeah, a Volvo, man. That's a Volvo? Not, that, you hey, know what? hey, listen, back then a Volvo was nice. That was a, but let me say this to you. I changed it in like two weeks. Two weeks? Because <laughs> I was getting a little, dudes was getting mm, on me. They was on you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They was what on you about your first quick. check? Right. Man, let me hey. hear this. You know, you had the Bronco. He had the OJ Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> he did. This I still, rebel. I still got it today. He still got the Bronco. Still got I still got it today. It's the 95 Bronco. I still got it today. She in the driveway right now How she running? as we speak. How oh, she, she running? She's running fabulous. <laughs> hey, big boy. Fabulous. You wouldn't be surprised you walk, you went by the man house. He out there working on the Bronco. That's crazy. Right. Man. She, see, look, yeah, you she, see she under kept, the hood. I, I never, under the hood, man. Man, I never forget going to Portland and seeing Sheed, and I was like, wow. 
you know, this dude hey. with all this money and he got the regular right. dump Every, truck on. Like I couldn't right. afford all that shiny. No, nah, you just didn't want to be like everybody else. He wanted to be different. Yeah. Hey. Definitely. So, KG, we talking about who, who bought what on their first, oh, they first money. <laughs> what did you get when you ticket. got big check ticket? Ticket. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'll probably just say, man, I bought my mom a, a super crib. There you go. Ooh, yeah. That's big there you time. Go. You know, my, that's yeah. taking to a whole other level. Listen, yep. when I first got my NBA money, obviously I had no car. Coming out of high school, I did what Big Boy did. My GS300 was my dream car. Yep. And I bought that as the first thing I bought with my little whatever. But when I got some real bread, I wanted to, you know, get my mom a super crib. Man. Absolutely. I that's a given. That, yeah. I did the same yes, thing. As a matter of fact, I, I, um, my, my crib that was on MTV Cribs, I gave that to my mom. Oh, I, I, yeah, I, I saw I that. Retired, I retired I yeah. retired my mother like maybe 15 years ago, 20 sure. years ago, you know what I mean? They still got the pole well in um, My mama don't get on the pole, though. Uh, but, but, you but take was, the pole down, big No, nah, man. You, take, you gotta take think, the pole down, man. No, nope, only thing she did was paint the walls. They was red. She painted them like uh, eggshell color. We eat Thanksgiving dinner in there. We don't, it, 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 ain't, it ain't the boom boom. It's it, it, the pole. It's it, somebody it, dance, the boom boom. No one dance on the pole, though, right? We call it the din din now. The din din. Yeah. Yeah, my little nephews and nieces be like ringing around like, nah, get out there. Yeah, for real. Real like, I'm saying. Hey, I got to hey, see that. But, but hey, KG though, Yo, let me KG though, yeah, let, let me, me say this to you. I got that Volvo. You know how much I came out in 80, 88? Mm -hmm. So you know what my first contract was in 88? What was it? I had a three-year deal. I was making like 250. I was living with my moms my mm -hmm. first year. Wow. Say word. Really? I was living no. with moms my first year. Wow. Real so talk. that Volvo, I needed to get a Volvo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, real talk. Did you have strict on the back of that thing? No, I didn't do that. Doing $10, you just no, super shit. It was regular, man. <laughs> Stop the mom, Volvo. Our New York yeah, cats don't be driving. That's why I asked that. And that's true. Our New York cats don't drive. Yeah. First time I had a car that. was, you know, when I got in the league. they got the train, yo. The train and buses. Taxis and buses. And walk. Hats. Gotta ask this, TD, what you get with your first check? Let me hear that. I'm a country boy, so right. I grew up, I got a Mustang. So the mm. first time, I remember got Coach Patino was up. like, so you you get you signed for a hundred to over like a hundred thousand dollars and you go get a Mustang? <laughs> I'm like, Coach, this was my favorite car growing up. Right. I wish I had bought a 67 Mustang. Oh, Oof, uh, mine was like a 90, about a 95, 96. Mm. You did you know, the right thing. Mm. But that car, when I drove up, he saw it. It was purple, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was what? like, are you serious? He said, so Walter McCarty went out and bought a Range Rover. I said, no, I want a Mustang. Hmm. I wanted something to go real fast. And when I went back to my old hometown, everybody appreciated that Mustang. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. It's good to hear all these stories, sure. man. So it's, it's, always, it's always good to, you know, talk about the, uh, the, 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 the original days and the first and when you started off into, obviously, to end up to hear where we are, man. It's always a beautiful story, man. We back in a minute, man. Great story, man. Real talk, man. Boomer verse. Yes. We out here, big up. boy in here. Shit. Man, gonna keep this little thing here. Wait, one of these nights, boy. Get the cognac going, man. Get the cognac going, man. <laughs>